once again to another Theatre Professor vidcast. My name is Terry Danage Kimiak II, and I am the Theatre Professor. Let me begin by saying thank you to all the new subscribers that I've gotten in the past several weeks. You guys have been fabulous, and I'm looking forward to more of these vidcasts as we move forward. Also, if you haven't done so already, stop by thetheaterprofessor.com, sign up for our newsletter, where I tend to try and keep people updated as best I can. And you can also maybe check out some of our blogs and some of our podcasts. I say our, like there's more than one person, but really it's just me doing it all. Okay, so this week we're starting something new. I'm creating essentially a course-based uh, tutorial set that deals with the iPad app called Art Rage. You see the uh, upper left-hand corner of your screen right now is that app. I'm going to be going through week well, week by week, hopefully, uh, and introducing you to the app if you've never used it before. Now, understand that if you've used the app before, some of these things are going to be things that you already know. That's fine. Fast forward, unless you want to listen to my lovely voice, which some people do. My wife tells me sometimes. Okay, she doesn't really. She she'd rather I just be quiet. So let's click on Art Way Art Rage <laughs> Art Rage and open it up. Doink, there we go. And we open up to the gallery. The gallery is where all of your pictures are, all of your paintings, all of your drawings. And you scroll just by sliding left and right. You can see I haven't used Art Rage quite as much as I've used Procreate, but I've started using it a little more often, trying to get used to how it works. In the upper left hand, if you're ready to create a painting, all you got to do is click New Painting. Boom! There you go. Now. In the lower left hand, you see two boxes, one with a plus sign on it. If you tap it, it brings up a menu, and you've got New Painting, Import from Photos, Take a Photo, and Duplicate Painting. And we're going to, each of those are going to be a, a separate tutorial in the weeks to come. What I will do is I will show you how to duplicate a painting because that's one that's real easy. So if you click that, it adds a painting to the end of your gallery. So you see I have one there, and if I scroll back over, I have one there. Okay. Um, why would you do that? Well, if you've got a painting that you really like, and but there are some things that you want to try, or a different way of doing things, I tend to duplicate so that I can try a second system and play around with colors, things like that. That way I still have the original in case I don't like what happens. In the middle on the bottom bar, you have two. One is the trash. I think we can all guess what the trash is for. That's a delete button. But the other one is your export. And you can send to photos. You can send to iTunes. And when you send to iTunes, you can either send it as a PNG or a JPEG. You can send to email as a PNG, JPEG, or PTG. You can send to the store online, whether that's, or I'm sorry, you can store it online, whether that's uh, DeviantArt. Facebook or Dropbox and then you can print painting if you are able to print. I don't have any printers hooked up. It's gonna look and say eh, no printers. Mmm, tasty. So we go back. We'll close that down. And then the two buttons on the right at the bottom rotate your painting. So if you accidentally have it in the wrong way you can rotate it. And bam. I'm going to rotate it back now. Why? Because it was the right way already. And bam. Up in the right upper right hand corner, you have a list of your paintings as well. If you click on it, you can scroll through. This is a little easier if you have a lot of paintings. I don't have a lot of paintings right now, so it's not a big deal. So I'm going to close that. So today what we're going to do is I'm going to start a new painting and we're going to go through some of the tools a little more in-depthly. So let's click New Painting. All right. We come to our Canvas page, which our Canvas page is huge. This is what kind of differentiates ArtRage from many of the other art apps out there, is that you can create a canvas that your media is going to interact with as you draw and paint. On the left-hand side, you have several presets. Let's click that. So here are our presets ranging from canvas basic, canvas fine, you'll see paper fine in there, paper crumpled, paper lumpy, ooh lumpy paper. You've got watercolor and sketching. 
you've got blackboard, concrete, plastic. So depending on what you want to do your artwork on, you can, you can choose your background. Um, generally speaking, when I work, I'm usually working in the watercolor or the sketching, although I have started to play a little bit with the canvas. Understand that different tools in your tool set are going to react differently based on the paper that you have down. So, for example, if I grab a canvas basic, it's not going to react quite as nicely as, uh, to watercolor as if I were to grab the watercolor, okay? So just be aware of that. Now, again, these are presets. I'm going to cancel that. But you can create your own. On the bottom there, you'll see a color, grain, roughness, and metallic. Well, first off, I'm going to click the color, and our color wheel comes up. And obviously, you can just move it to wherever you want to change the color of your paper. So I'm going to make it a, a, oh, it's a little dark for my tastes. I want something right in the middle there. There we go. So now my paper is gray. I can change the grain. So let's change it to fine paper. Notice the blue streak changes when I change it. So I'm going to change to fine canvas. Watch the blue streak. Notice how that changes how it interacts with the paper go back to um, go back to what was I on fine paper there we go you can change the roughness again watch the blue streak as I move the roughness up oh it's not quite as no, you don't see it let me switch to something that you're gonna see it a little more evident on maybe the crumpled yes you can see it much better there you can see the um, roughness and then boom Boom. We'll go back to my fine paper, my fine paper. I'll just put it at like 25. And then metallic, where it's really shiny, or just kind of shiny, or not shiny at all. You can also retitle the painting. So if you click painting title, you can retitle it. I'm not going to do that right now. You can also change the dimensions by clicking the dimensions. Now, this one doesn't have any presets built in, so you actually have to choose your dimensions, and it is pixel-based. Notice that the maximum size is 2048 by 2048, which is smaller than some of the other art apps, but larger than others. We're going to leave it as is. Oh, well, we increased it slightly. My fault. And then if you want to, you can actually record script, which records your painting process. We're not going to do that right now because I'm recording via Camtasia. So we click Done. And here we are, opened up to our giant paper of paperness. This is where we're going to go ahead and end our first tutorial. I am making these tutorials a little shorter in length, a little more bite-sized for people, so that they can uh, kind of ingest them in a little quicker process. So this will probably run well, about 10 minutes, and each of them hopefully will run right about that. As we continue on, uh, I hope that you learn a lot, and uh, if you have questions, feel free to comment. Again, this is going to be kind of a, a class-like structure where I go step-by-step step using the technology with the art. Again, this is Terry Danich-Kimiak. I am the theater professor, and this is the theater professor vidcast.